Hey, what's up everybody? Alex here. We're having a look at the LG G Watch R. This is LG's reply to the beautiful yet flawed Moto 360. As you can see, it has a sporty look with a traditional round watch style, which is definitely more stylish and preferred. Its metal casing adds a premium feel. It appears quite thick compared to a standard analog watch, offering a genuine leather watch band, which can be changed to anything you personally prefer, even a pocket watch if you're feeling smart. Getting into specs, the G-Watch R has a 320x320 resolution plastic OLED screen which sounds super low but offers crisp icons and images on the 1.3 inch circular screen. The screen is actually fully circular unlike the Moto 360 which has a chunk of bezel located at the bottom. There is a tiny bezel around the outside of the screen which is barely noticeable during use anyway. The watch fits in 4GB of storage space of all your tiny apps and offline music, offering 512MB of RAM to keep everything rolling and I can tell you from my experience that it works simply and all notifications fly through quite well. Also packing a Snapdragon 400 clocked in at 1.2GHz, which normally would be seen in any low end mobile device, but in the watch it shows its power opening apps with a downloaded mini launcher shows a quick startup and no hiccups. The battery packed inside is a 420mAh. This is the biggest battery found so far in any other smartwatch and it shows as I haven't charged the smartwatch for over two days and it's running happily at around 25%. That's with the screen turned off and recently just with the screen fully turned on. With the screen always on it often runs either more or less than two days which is still impressive and one thing that LG likes to boast is the fact that it's IP67 registered for dust and water resistant. So basically you're fine in the rain but don't go swimming. Despite it being resistant this doesn't mean it's very useful in the rain. So from what I found while walking in the rain, the rain often activates the device and stops it from doing whatever it was doing initially and it remains wet and if it remains wet without drying it's difficult to operate. The LG G Watch R has a selection of personalised watch faces ranging from a simplistic look to your standard driver's watch. The watch has a built in microphone like other smart watches to be used for making notes, making commands and for replying to text messages. It can be quite slow for voice recognition in loud areas which is expected but in the, the enclosure of your own home it works flawlessly. Ok Google Navigate me to the closest supermarket. Maps is a joy to use and so is the music player app to simply skip through tracks, increase or decrease volume, or to pause and start your music. Head east on Grassmere Road toward Windermere Road. As you can see I have fallen in love with this device. All of these benefits do however come with some flaws. For example, as expected, the signal of the Bluetooth 4.0 inside could be greatly improved. For example, if I'm on the opposite side of my house without my phone, it loses connection and the watch is instantly becoming useless. Like I said, the device is frustrating to use in the rain as expected with all devices, and also the watch is fairly bulky for its size. But in all in all, if you want to buy your first smartwatch, go for the LG G Watch R. I'm Alex and join me again. Until next time, goodbye.